We are in the process of creating a whole new generation of vehicles. For the first time in our history, we're looking at how all these vehicles relate to each other and more importantly how they relate to the customer. Great design is the gateway to customer desirability. It's about making that emotional connection. People say, what was the inspiration for the new Range Rover? Well, the inspiration is its heritage. And when you look at that original vehicle and look at the vehicle we have today, that lineage is clear. It was a case of capitalising on the strengths of the previous car, but also into a, a new vehicle that had its own personality. It's not a static looking car. The volumes of the car are in tension, they're in movement. There are no fussy, contrived, superficial styling elements. We played for a long time in those three key lines of how the sill and the waistline and the roof line work together. And it's the powerful, elegant way that those three lines relate to each other. I think it works perfectly when you see the car moving. When you go to the interior, you open the door and you look into it. It is unmistakably a Range Rover. Those classic elements are there. The strong horizontal emphasis of the main face of your moulding intersected by this vertical console. There's far less switches than the current vehicle. You soon start to see that this is a true luxury experience. The new Range Rover's leather is sourced from a company called Bridge of Wear in Scotland. They're the only leather supplier in the world that produces low carbon leather. We have semi aluminum leather on our seats, very soft, very supple to hand. Veneering is a very traditional process. All of our wood is from sustainable forests. We still have traditional craftsmen that have been doing the job all of their lives but we're using that now in combination with new processes. The aluminium architecture, I mean, it's a phenomenal technology, really. It's the world's first all aluminium SUV. It's bonded and riveted to aircraft construction standards. Dynamically, the car is a revelation. Losing hundreds of kilos of weight out of a car has so many benefits, I mean, not only in its carbon footprint, its ecological identity, but also its performance and its handling. The fact that it makes the car a whole lot more agile, more maneuverable, more capable. There's less mass to haul uphill. There are benefits from almost every aspect of the, the design. The aluminium then inspired us further in terms of visually lightening the interior design of the car. The panoramic roof is going to flood the interior with light, enhancing the feeling of cleanliness of the interior. I'm really pleased with the way that the design has evolved but still maintained that very clear Range Roverness. That's the best bit, I think. Iconic is a word I think that's used too liberally. But Range Rover is worthy of iconic status. The best has just got better.